everyone. So, di kap tukon. Tati hao, magandang araw and may buntag. <laughs> Alright, right. Welcome back to my channel. It's Peter Panther. Um, thank you for everyone who is watching, who's still watching my videos. Thank you. I really appreciate your support. And yes, and for those who are new to this channel, it's a plant vlog channel. Probably um, sooner or later, it's gonna be a lifestyle also. I'm gonna be posting vlogs if you know you guys want. But anyways, today I'm going. Uh, today I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys ask. Um, I ask, I posted on social media what kind of questions uh, you want. You, you uh, what kind of questions you want to ask me? So I'm gonna answer it in my vlog. So here's the vlog, and yeah. let's start the question and answer. I'm gonna answer ten questions, um, but. There could be more questions in the future if you guys want to ask more. Mm, it's fine. I think you can answer 10 in this video. Anyways, how about you can manok? So, I'm going to be switching my language from English to Bisaya. Because nobody asked in Tagalog and or Waray or Chinese or whatever language. So, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna answer them right now. So the first question is, uh, what's a dorm-friendly plant? Okay, so talk about dorm. It really depends on what or how bright your dorm is. Um, let's say, for example, your dorm has a very little window, not so much light. So I would recommend you for the low light, for the plants that can handle low light, which is the ZZ plant this one or this is the bigger version this one is the smaller version so what I can recommend is the ZZ plant and then next is the San Severo snake plant which is this one as well it's very big as you might can as you can see um, I don't think I have shown you this plants in my videos ever so now you can see them. These are one of my big plants in my collection. And yes, now you saw them. <laughs> so we have ZZ plant, we have San Severo snake plant, uh, and we have Pothos. I have Pothos right here. This one. So this one is a cutting I made a month ago. And now it's thriving. This one's a Neon Pothos. This one can do very well in mid light so yeah um that's a dorm friendly plant most most of the dorm friendly plants are the low light tolerant because you know they can handle pretty much low light they will grow slower but they would thrive for you i hope i answered your question how do you often water uh, how do you often water allocations i'm new to i'm new with the alocasia family so this is from ig <clears throat> okay so alocasia, if if kanang, none of you knows alocasia, if, like you're not familiar with alocasia, alocasia in the Philippines is called gabi gabi. My mom calls it gab gabi gabi. <laughs> She's used to calling it gabi gabi. But here's an example of alocasia. There's some babies right there. The alocasia. So for me. I'm not really a pro with alocasia yet because I've just newly um, got the hang of alocasia. But so far, I don't wait for my alocasia pot to dry up or soil to dry up because they they tend to be more sensitive with water, humidity, and and sunlight. If there are like drastic changes with with the three of those, your alocasia could drop leaves and um, turn yellow or whatever. So yeah, um, don't wait for your alocasia to dry up completely. I keep my alocasia pretty much moist, but not soggy. There's a difference between moist and soggy. Moist is like moist, moist cake. Soggy is like dripping wet. You guys know what's the meaning of soggy and moist. It's common sense. Basta, na. Um, yeah, I don't wait for my alocasias to dry up completely um, I keep them well, water, well watered enough um, and also the soil plays a role 
Uh, my soil for alocasia is a pretty much uh, well draining soil. It it does not hold so much water, so I have to keep watering the alocasia. And also, this well draining soil keeps the alocasia bulb from rotting. Um, imagine like a banana, like you know, if it's wet and it rots pretty quickly, and you don't want that for alocasia. They're very sensitive, so yeah. That's number two. Okay, number three. What ignited your passion for plants? Alright, so I think it's gonna be a long explanation for this one. So when I was younger, I always find myself, I always found myself really attached with nature since I live in a place where um, it's surrounded with trees and nature. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I remember when I was young, probably like around preschool, or grade school, or elementary, I used to spend more of my time outside the house because I I don't know I have this connection with nature first I love I had fishes like I don't know why I think my cousin it's because my cousin had fishes before so I started having fishes in a very young age I think when I was grade four I had fishes <laughs> Yeah, I had fishes on, uh, when I was grade 4, and then in high school, I still had fishes in high school, and people knew me, people called me Peter Pishi Polida. Um, I know if any of you, any of like my bus mates watch, watch, watches this video, I know kabalo mo nga, kamo na akong pasabot na Peter Pishi Polida, ang inyong na ko. Anyways, so yeah, so it started with fish, and then I received a succulent as a gift. Then it started like I started liking succulents and I bought succulents more and then I, uh, I sold succulents on my online shop and then um, it took a while, it took a while though like my succulent passion or hobby was like a very long time. I ordered bulk in Man from Manila, um, like I remembered ordering like 30 succulents, 30 to 60 succulents and it's gonna be delivered in a package and I get excited while opening the package and you know it's like a gift for yourself so yeah it started with succulents and then indoor plants started when I transferred to my boarding house in college probably around hmm I don't remember but so it started in college and then I remembered I wanted I wanted an accompany because I was alone so I started having an indoor plant which is um this this is my very first plant like literally my very first plant i couldn't really forget this is my first very 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 first plant like imagine it's still with me and i think it's it's already like three years with me so that's my first plant that started the craze and then right after that i wanted to like for me it's nice i like i like seeing things grow like from succulents, I like them to grow. From fishes, I like them to grow. Also plants and different. So that started. I think that started. Like um, I bought more plants, and now I have over a hundred plus plants. Wow! Yes, a hundred plus plants. A hundred plus plants in my collection, and still wanting more. Uh, I still don't have like lots of plants here, but yeah, I want more. I think that's that's the that's the answer, that's the that's the answer. that's the answer. So that's my answer for what ignited your passion for plants. Okay, number four. Ganong guapo kayo? No, not guapo. <laughs> I have insecurities. Um, yeah, all of us has have has have. So na ko insecurities. Um, but thank you for. Oh, awesome, man. Um, I'm just a normal person, um, but yeah, thank you. Not a not a question, but <laughs> thank you. Number five, the fifth question is pets. Pets, please. Mm. So pets. I have two pets. Um, two dogs. Actually, the fur. Uh, the eldest is a Labrador Retriever, a black Labrador Retriever. His name is Dashley, and then the second one is. Like the youngest one is um, a local dog mixed with, I don't know, I forgot, 
but it's, but it's not like a pure local dog. But his name is Cookie, named after the VT21 character Cookie. Well, I've we've had dogs for a very long, long time. Like, I think when I was like since when I was young, we already had dogs. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I also have fishes. I still have fishes right now. My shark died, I guess. My oh, no. fresh shark. I forgot. But yeah, my fishes are in the pond. And the pond is like just sitting there. I'm not even feeding feeding. I'm not even feeding my fish because I don't have fish food. I just feed them like it's like something natural. <laughs> I just leave it. And then they just grow and multiply there. So yeah, that's my pets. I have a dog, two dogs, and then a fish. I have a stray cat though. That comes back and forth like no, every other day or sometimes I call her Mimi very common cat name Mimi <laughs> so number six what are your recent played songs let me check but I'm sure it's from Sakab Sakaba or Scrub if you're a fan of Together then you would know the songs Sakaba Tukia Tanku and I forgot. And also I've been having LSS with 17's left and right. Um if you have listened to it, it's this one. Yeah, that's my recently played songs. It's either from uh, Scrub, um, OSTs, Seventeen, BTS. That's my recent played songs. For workout songs, I do the workout mm, playlist here in Spotify. But yeah, no, no big deal. Are you scared? Are there animals you're scared of? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Definitely, I'm scared of spiders. Um, insects and plants are like connected to each other, but spiders, I can't. <laughs> spiders are my number one like feared insect of all. I remember like my IG story about a huntsman spider, and people telling told me that it's not dangerous, it's not deadly, but <laughs> I'm legs. The hairy leg, the long legs. Like into guy you as in bucket juice, like the juke and spider as in promise. I really don't like spiders. It's it's scary. It's I think I've had this fear for a long, long time. Uh, it's no joke. I don't like spiders. Like the jumping spiders, the, the very little jumping spiders are fine, but the big ones, I don't, I don't like. <laughs> Really don't like them. <laughs> really don't like them. Oh. <laughs> Centipedes, millipedes, not really, but like the 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 gross is there. Like kanang ludon ka, it's there. But spiders, I really don't like spiders. Please, just don't give me anything spidery. <sighs> we have, we have. Ano wala na lang ka na botanist or taxonomist. Dagan kay kaghebawan about plants. Hehehe. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, before college, I wanted to be, I wanted to take marine biologist because first, I love, like at that time, I like fishes. I like studying about fish. My uncle was, my uncle is also a marine biologist. But then like the passion for arts and architecture was more, um, it was like the everyday life, my everyday life. So I draw, drew a lot, I designed a lot, and you know, so that's why I took architecture. Um, I actually took interior designing and in architecture entrance exam, but then I chose architecture. I passed both, but I chose architecture. Yeah, and my knowledge of plants actually is just through research. I read a lot about plants. I research a lot about plants. I think it's just because of experience as well. 
And as a kid, when I was a kid, I was fond of reading encyclopedias. I think that's the reason why I like animals as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the that's the answer. Um, this is just a hobby. My my knowledge for uh, about plants is based on research. It's because of research. It's because of I think you know, I have them. But yeah, I took architecture because of passion. That's the that's the answer. Okay, number nine. Plant wish list. I have a lot of plant wish list actually. There's a lot because I don't have a lot of plants yet. A hundred plus, a hundred plus plants isn't enough yet. What? And like if you see them every day, you get. You feel like it's not enough. Like I would like to spend more hours cleaning, fertilizing, watering my plants. But since it's like a hundred plus. Not yet that much. <laughs> yes. So I have a lot of plant wish list, but I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna narrow it down to five, so that it's gonna be like um, like the most wanted plant. So first is the alocasia mycorrhiza mycorrhiza variegata. I'm not gonna do the alocasia, but I'm gonna try. I wanna try. Um, I haven't found a seller yet that sells. Um, this alopecia mycorrhiza variegata for a good price. So I'm still waiting. The Alba Monstera Borsigiana. This one is my favorite like plant wish list, but I couldn't have because let's <laughs> let's search the price in Etsy. Really? Here, okay. I search Monstera Borsigiana Albo in Etsy. Okay, the price, the price for this plant, that's why I couldn't have it yet. Um, it's, there's a seller here that sells the Monster Albo Borsigiana for 43,989.64 pesos. Free shipping. <laughs> you can buy a TV. And the other one is 51,761.66 pesos. Free shipping as well. It's very expensive. <laughs> Spending that much money probably would happen when I have um, <clears throat> when I'm earning money in YouTube already. The third one is the Monster Thai Constellation. Uh, I couldn't, I wasn't able to buy Monster Thai a Monster Thai Constellation last plan expo because it was. My wallet wasn't in my wallet wasn't ready yet. That's the reason why I wasn't able to buy. It was a reasonable it, it was a reasonable price, but Murad did you know why at that time? Like I wanted to have like I wanna make most of my money. Like I wanna have more plants in like in this amount of money. Instead of like buying one plant, spending a lot of money. Mm, do you get me? Yeah, that. <laughs> and then the last one is the philodendron. Melanocrysum. Yes, it's a very beautiful plant. It's a velvety plant. Um, also, plant wish list because it's a pretty plant. I usually have, I usually like the variegated ones, but it's very hard to keep their variegations. You know, if you're a plant owner and then you have like less light. Then you would understand why variegations are very hard to keep up. Um, unlike other regular plants, there's also a very good GT I want to get, but they're very slow. They, they grow very slow, so that's why I don't, I didn't get it yet. And I'm try I'm trying to save because it's quarantine, no allowance. <laughs> Hopefully, in no time, I'm gonna be earning in YouTube. So please help me help me reach a thousand subscribers. Last, why Peter Planter? Why? Why not Pedro Planter? Joke. Why Peter Planter? Um, I think it came out of out of nowhere, and um, it was a random idea from someone. I I was just arranging my plans and. You know, like I have a lot of plants in my boarding house, and then 
someone just told me, hey, why don't you start a YouTube channel and call it Peter Planter? Like, you know, you like plants, you can explain plants, you can do that and do this. Why not? I was like, hmm, why not? Right? So, I was like, what's, in, what's gonna be my channel channel name? Or like, that. like I, can't, I couldn't think about anything. And then, he just said, uh, so like, he, he mentioned about, oh, what about Peter Planter? Because it's Peter and then Planter. And then, so I was like, oh yeah, simple name. But catchy. So yeah, that's why it's Peter Planter. And I'm happy for like the people who told me that you know my channel is good because there's no Seguano who does this yet. I think not the usual vlog. You know, you know what I mean. That's a ton of questions I'm gonna answer for today. Thank you for everyone who participated on the question and answer. Well, wow, question and answer that I got. Um, who ask questions um, and I hope that there's gonna be more questions in the future um, and I hope that you guys would you know you guys can suggest what kind of videos I would make like it can be like not purely about plants because not all of you likes plants and I really noticed that Filipinos like like comedy but I'm not funny Aww. Aww. I'm not funny enough to do comedy so that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!